Hi everybody, this is Annie. I'm a witness for Jesus Christ and I'm also a prayer warrior. We're going over the book of Psalms. We are on chapter 139 out of the contemporary English version. You may look deep. You may have looked deep into my heart, Lord, and you know all about me. You know when I am resting and when I am working and from heaven you discover my thoughts. You notice everything I do and everywhere I go. Before I even speak a word, you know what I will say and with your powerful arm you protect me from every side. I can't understand all of this. Such wonderful knowledge is far above me. Where could I go to escape from your spirit or from your sight? If I go, if I were to climb up to the highest heavens, you would be there. If I were to dig down to the world of the dead, you would also be there. Suppose I had wings like the dawning day and flew across the ocean. Even then, your powerful arm would guide and protect me. Or suppose I said, I'll hide in the dark until night comes to cover me over. But you see in the dark because daylight and dark are all the same to you. You are the one who put me together inside my mother's body. And I praise you because of the wonderful way you created me. Everything you do is marvelous. Of this I have no doubt. Nothing about me is hidden from you. I was secretly woven together deep in the earth below, but with your own eyes, you saw my body being formed even before I was born. You had written in your book everything I would do. Your thoughts are far beyond my understanding, much more than I could ever imagine. I try to count your thoughts, but they outnumber the grains of sand on the beach. And when I awake, I will find you nearby. How I wish that you would kill all cruel and heartless people and protect me from them. They are always rebelling, speaking evil of you. You know I hate anyone who hates you, Lord and refuses to obey. They are my enemies too, and I truly hate them. Look deep into my heart, God, and find out everything I'm thinking. Don't let me follow evil ways, but lead me in the way that time has proven true. In Jesus' name, amen. As I read this prayfully, Psalm 139, I have a lot of things that come to mind, but I'm going to tell you, I grew up here in Cedar Rapids, Iowa for 18 years. I moved away. I'm 51 now. Um, uh, you know, I moved away when I was 18, when I graduated high school in 1987. I lived in a lot of different places. But I lived a very destructive lifestyle. I was married to a man that was very caught up into pornography, to drugs, alcohol. Um, I didn't live a healthy life even before I met him. But the two of us together, we didn't live healthy. We had five beautiful children, but unfortunately, uh, we lost custody of them. The good news is, is my parents adopted them, and they're back in my life. And now, of course, my children are older. It's my twin daughters that are left in my house uh, or my apartment now with me. I don't legally have them back in my care, but the Lord has restored them back into my life because I've turned my life over to Jesus. So I moved away back in 2013 for about a year. <clears throat> you can look up my testimony um, on YouTube. I probably go into it more in more detail. I haven't refreshed my testimony in any way, but since 2017, I, I believe, or 18 is when I made it, made the video, but now that it's 2020, 
Uh, after meditating and prayerfully reading a Psalm 139, uh, it is literally by the grace of God that I am back here in Cedar Rapids, Iowa since 2014. And I don't live the lifestyle at all that I used to. I don't go back to my ex-husband to try to save him uh, or just to be, uh, you know, just in a destructive relationship was normal for me. Chaos was normal for me. Um, confusion, uh, argumentative, uh, fear, all that was a comfortable spirit. And when there was peace, I didn't know how to handle the peace. And I only knew how to live destructive. I only knew that if mom's stressed out or if I'm not... Uh, if I'm not getting along with my ex-husband, smoking, getting high, um, cheating, uh, anything, uh, gambling, um, you name it, it, it just, it, uh, it just, it just wasn't healthy. And, uh, but to live back in Cedar Rapids now since 2014 for the last six years, my credit is, you know, really good. My children are back in my life. Um, I love waking up sober every day. Jesus has become my everything. Now, don't get me wrong. We all fall short every day. I do love my coffee. <laughs> so I have to be careful. And, you know, I have a tendency that, you know, my weight can go up. It can go down. I go through seasons where I like to work out. But anyway, the re... <clears throat> What I'm getting to is that uh, I, it, whoever comes across this video and you've not seen my videos before, I've turned my life over to Jesus. I'm somebody that had to lose everything. I love to read Psalms because Psalms pray for us. I love to read Proverbs because it helps my mind and seeking wisdom, staying on his path and, um, and trusting Jesus. Jesus has become my everything. So... I just hope that encourages somebody that's out there today. And if you don't have a relationship with Jesus and you've been living in your own will, I'm telling you what, there's only, you know, you can either, you can stay in your will, but, you know, eternity is in the human heart. So our hearts are the most wicked. If we don't guard our hearts daily and we don't feed our heart with the word of God, you're going to live in the flesh and you're always going to be at war with the spirit. So it's, it's, it's. It's best to feed your heart with the word of God, guarding your heart, keeping your full armor on, meditating on the word to keep our minds renewed. So I'm getting ready to move to Fort Worth, Texas. I got accepted to Lifestyle Christianity University. There are people all over the country that, uh, that are going to be at that school with me. And um, I do have a PayPal account. So if you are led by the Holy Spirit to plant a seed into this ministry, praise God, hallelujah. I'm trying to get out there. I still, uh, the school's costing me over $5,000. I have $1,000 left to pay on the school and to move from Cedar Rapids to Fort Worth, Texas is going to cost me with the U-Haul. It's going to cost me, um, you know, about $1,500. So, uh, I, uh, I, I, I'm just reaching out to brothers and sisters. Uh, looks like I've got 68 subscribers. Uh, for those that have planted into this ministry, thank you very much. It does not go unnoticed. I pray for you and I thank you. And every time somebody has planted a seed into this ministry, I always take 10% of that fruit and get it, give it to somebody else. I plant a seed because it's all about planting seeds, sowing seeds, and watering seeds. I know the Lord's going to open up the door for me to be able to get out there, but, um, you know, we all need to come together in unity. And so I thought, you know, I'm just, it's, it, if the Holy Spirit's leading me to ask, well, I'm asking. So if you come across this video and you like it, hit the subscribe, pass them on to friends and family. And if you want to sow a seed into my ministry, hit the little uh, arrow that points down. It'll go to the information where it shows my PayPal account. And uh, you can plant a seed into that. And I would, I would appreciate that. And it will not go unnoticed. So anyway... 
Meditate on Psalm 139. Say what the Holy Spirit says to you. Um, I love you. Jesus Christ loves us even more. I'm telling you, Jesus Christ, he is Lord and our souls are well. Bye now.